Hello my crafty friends, it's Trine and today we are making a card and a tag using the Sewn in Love stamp set by Lime Fine. I love this little stamp set so I thought it would be cool just to start this off showing you how I colored in my images and as you can see I am using my Zig Clean Color Brushes. This is not going to be a full in-depth in tutorial <laughs> on coloring these images. I just wanted to give you an overview of what I'll be using so we can go ahead and jump into how I made the card. So for this card, I'll be using some white um, cardstock and then my card base. I have all of my images uh, cut out and colored and these are from the Lawn Fun Sewn in Love um, step set. For dies, I am going to cut out my panel using the stitch rectangle and then I'll be using a round die as a stencil. I'm going to get started by um, cutting out my panel with the stitch rectangle and then using the circle rectangle to trace a stencil onto the back of that panel so that I can sew my little design around. And I am going to use my sewing machine for this because I want a zigzag pattern. And I am using my uh, brother's sewing machine. As you can see, I stitched that little pattern. Um, I will be showing you guys some projects that I use with my, um, that I use my Stitch Happy machine for, but I recorded this video way before I got that machine, so that's why I didn't use it for this one. But, hold tight, something is coming up showing that machine. <laughs> Alright, so after I have my, um, little circle stitched out, I can I tied those knots and then I stamped on my sentiment. Now I am using two different colors. So the first thing I did was stamp the sew in a purple color. And it's like a deep plum color actually. And um, I stamped it a couple of times. So I did use my Misty stamp tool to make sure that I got a good impression. And once I had um, my word stamped out then I went in with some black Versafine ink and I'm going to stamp the your and the lovely in that black Versafine. So after I have my panel the way I want it it's time to add those images. I start with the biggest image for this set it just so happened to be the sewing machine so I laid it down first and then I went in with um the um, pin cushion and laid it out. Now, um, this is like super easy stuff. I'm just really laying it in the circle where I already have the design out. The only thing I was trying to make sure is that everything stayed balanced and that um, you could still see a little bit of that stitching. But this is one of those cards that you really don't have to put a whole lot of thought into. You just lay it out and have fun with it. And that's what I did. So I finished this card off by adding some foam tape to the back and I like to kind of go in on the foam tape. I'm not cheap with it <laughs> because if you don't use enough, it's like your images are like lag in the middle. Um, so I use a, a good bit of it and then I tape it to my card base. This adds um, a little bit of weight to the image because it's pretty flat. It's pretty much a one dimensional card. 
So after that, it's done. So for my tags, I use the Mama Elephant's Tags a lot die set and I cut out this large tag and the banner that you see. And I also am going to use some Nouveau um, Mousse for this project and I'm using the pink one. And I really like this stuff. It came with a card kit and I really love it. So I made a ink blending tool out of a sponge and uh, a paper binder. And I am just working this in in circular motion. If you don't have a sponge, you can always use your fingertips with this, but I just didn't want to get my hands dirty. Um, so I made this little sponge. So all I do is just really make circles. It's really not that complicated. It's super easy. Um, I want my strokes to be seen so I don't, you know, blend a lot. I kind of just go in a circle and try to keep all of the little motions there um, until I get the desired size I want for my circle. Next, I'm going to create a pleat in my banner by taking my score tool, which is really a nail dotting tool, but it works perfect, you guys. <laughs> so I use this and all I do is make two score lines and then I do like a mountain valley fold and it will give you a nice pleat in your banner so that it seems kind of like it's folding onto itself and creating like some flow into it. So that's like a little technique that I really like with these. And then to hold everything in place, all I do is add a little bit of foam tape to the back and I um, let that secure my banner to both my card and it secures the pleat in place. I want my sewing machine image to be at the same depth as the banner so I am adding some foam tape to the back of it as well and then I am just going to add it to the tag. So for my sentiment I am using the So Cute stamps and I am going to put them in place and then I am going to um, hand stitch those using a bat stitch to create a little bit of texture on this tag and it's really easy to do first you just take something sharp and create your holes that you're going to sew in and I am using the um, what do you call these things um, you use these to set the brads it's like a brad setter and a um, it has like a sharp tool on the end so I use that to create my little holes and then I go through with my needle and thread and I do a back stitch and there are a lot of videos on YouTube if you want to know how to do a back stitch it's really really easy like y'all it's super easy and it's fairly quick um, you can stitch out this whole little thing in probably about five ten minutes um, or less really it's really it doesn't really take that long one tip I do um, is to use a little bit of washi tape on the back just to make sure that your thread stays in place and then I just go through and stitch all around my saying To cover up all the stitching, you could use a blank sheet of paper or either you can use like the back of a tag. I personally like to use whichever shape that I'm creating. So I took that tag die and I just cut out another um, tag and I am just using some tape to put it onto the back of that tag. It also adds a little bit more weight to 
this um, design now if you're gonna attach this tag to a cart you don't have to do this because the cart base will actually hide the tag but I didn't know how I want to use this if I want to use it just as a tag or if I wanted it to be secured to a cart so I added the back so to finish things up I'm going to add my little um, hole enforcer and punch out my hole And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if this is your first time hanging out with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So, you know, you can become part of the Crafty family. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.